Hey, it's Courtney and Ryan here with your weekly Money Minutes. And this week we want to talk to you guys about what we call home bias when it comes to investing. Now, what's kind of interesting is the United States is only about half of the value of all equities in the world, but as investors, we tend to put about 70% of our money there, which yeah. is extremely overweighted. Yeah, I mean, why do you think that is? Why do you think that with, again, half the stock market capitalization being outside the world, we only really invest in the U.S.? I hear theories that maybe people aren't familiar with it, maybe it's just we're used to the companies that are here in the United States, but when you think about it, we wake up and my coffee is from South America, yeah. my phone is made in Asia, my clothes are made in Africa, I mean we are surrounded by stuff from all over the world, so you'd think we'd invest that way also. It's hard to believe there's other countries in the world that make goods and services. <laughs> Um, and the crazy thing is, statistically, as a stock market investor, uh, if you look at past 20 years, there's no country that's been the best place to invest for more than two years in a row. So that means yeah. the U.S. doesn't is not always, most years, is not the best place to be. Exactly. Yeah. So it's a reason to spreading out your money, and not just the U.S., but there's so many countries out there we can invest in, and we need to make sure you own a little bit of all of those, because they're all going to have their time to shine. You want to make sure you own them when they do have their time to shine. Yeah, exactly. Okay, your New Year's resolution, since even though it's already February, is make sure your portfolio is globally diversified. If you need help with that, Click on the link below and you can talk to a real financial advisor. We'll help you get globally diversified. Also, if you haven't gotten our newest guide on the new tax reform, click on the link below as well and you can get access to that. That's this week's Money Minutes. As always, be, be bullish. bullish.